These might make you rethink how you celebrate the new year. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 strangest and most interesting New Year's traditions. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're counting down cultural New Year's traditions that you may not be familiar with. Number 10. Eating 12 Grapes In 1909, Spain officially began a juicy New Year's custom. Originally popularized by vine growers looking to make some extra profits, it involves consuming 12 grapes at midnight, with each grape coinciding with the ring of the Puerta del Sol tower bell. Known as the 12 Grapes of Luck, the tasty tradition is meant to bring you good luck and good health in the coming year. The eating of the grapes has become so popular that it's even transcended its Spanish roots, and is now also practiced in the Philippines and the United States. After all, grapes are basically just wine waiting to happen. Number 9. Baking Coins Into Bread While this tradition takes place all over the world, it's mostly associated with Greece. On January 1st, the Greeks slice a cake known as Vasilopita, which contains a coin that's supposed to bless their home for the new year and bring good luck to the coin's recipient. This tradition is derived from the legend of Basil of Caesarea, who gathered money from town locals to pay off the army that was besieging their city. The plan worked, and the army was so embarrassed that they left without the cash. Basil then baked the change into loaves of bread, and everybody got their coin back creating a tradition that's tasty and lucrative. Number 8. Burning Effigies and Scarecrows Back in 1895, a yellow fever epidemic took a toll on the Ecuadorian town of Guayaquil. In response, the locals burned coffins filled with the clothes of the infected, hoping to rid themselves of disease and purify the town in the process. Today, the burning is more about fun than purification. Some people burn effigies of specific figures, including politicians, sports stars, and even superheroes, while others try to leap over the flames 12 times, with each jump symbolizing another month left in the past. However, if you're into this tradition, beware of too much smoke inhalation, as that most definitely will not bring you good luck. Number 7. Wearing Colored Underwear When you're getting dressed for New Year's Eve, it's important to color coordinate for the event. This tradition is trendy in Latin America, as both men and women choose specific colors for specific results. Red underwear signifies passion, while yellow panties are supposed to bring good luck. There are many options, so think it through and find the underwear that best suits your needs for the new year. Just make sure you don't eat or drink too much on New Year's Eve, or your underpants might experience an unexpected color change. Number 6. Dropping Ice Cream on the Floor on New Year's Eve in Switzerland, everyone has a free pass to dirty up the kitchen. Like many traditions, dropping ice cream is done for good luck, and it typically involves just one scoop. For ice cream purists, this could be viewed as a downright unacceptable waste of delicious dessert, but for the Swiss, it's an act of pure joy. Apparently, Mother Earth likes ice cream as much as the next person, and is willing to reward those who feed her with a year full of luck and success. Let the ice cream hit the floor. Number 5. Jumping Over Seven Waves Brazilians are no stranger to partying on New Year's Eve, but for those who want to please the gods, specifically Yamanja, the goddess of the sea, they head to the beach to pay their proper respects. This involves throwing offerings into the water to let them be carried away by the ocean, followed by jumping over seven waves and making a wish after each one. What better way to start off the new year than getting in touch with nature? Plus, seven wishes are better than one. Number 4. Dancing in Bear Furs Be prepared to bear witness to one of the fuzziest ways to ring in the New Year. Known as Ursul, this tradition takes place between Christmas and New Year's Eve, as people don real bear furs to ward off evil spirits. The faux bears then play dead before getting up again, to signify the impending resurrection brought on by spring. As fun to watch as it is to take part in, this tradition has the added benefit of providing the participants with extra warmth during one of the coldest times of the year. Number 3. Throwing Household Items Out the Window Looking to unburden yourself of useless material possessions? Then this cathartic and slightly dangerous New Year's tradition is for you. In Italy, people are known to toss unwanted items out their window on December 31st, 
as a way of ushering out the old to make way for the new. It's a lot of fun for all involved, assuming there's nobody walking by below. Traditions evolve over time, of course, and as years have gone by, the size and weight of the thrown objects has increased, but that hasn't stopped people from chucking them onto the street anyway. The tradition has even spread to South Africa, to the dismay of South African authorities. Number 2. Lowering of the Opossum We're not too sure Dick Clark would approve of this one. In the American Southeast, there are New Year's celebrations in which a marsupial is the star of the show. At North Carolina's Brasstown Drop, a possum is suspended and lowered throughout New Year's Eve, as a unique alternative to New York City's famous Times Square Ball Drop. Oh, and there's also a competition for the title of Possum Queen. Did they do that in New York City? Didn't think so. While this tradition isn't for everybody, it's definitely in a league of its own when it comes to strange New Year's celebrations. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Number 1. Fireballs Goodness gracious, great balls of fire! In Scotland, the celebration known as Hogmanay is less of a tradition and more of a cultural event. One part of the celebration, at least in the town of Stonehaven, involves constructing wire fireballs that are swung throughout the streets. Like any big-time festival, there's also music and lots of activities, but they're kind of hard to notice when people are running through the streets literally swinging balls of fire. When the clock strikes midnight, Hogmanay continues on into the night, until the remaining fires are thrown into the harbor to be extinguished. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.